an area called Gethsemane. Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him. He plunged into a sinkhole of dreadful agony. I feel bad enough now to die. Stay here and keep vigil with me. Going a little ahead, he fell to the ground and prayed for a way out. Papa, Father, you can, can't you, get me out of this? Take this cup away from me? But please, not what I want, but what you want. Came back and found them sound asleep. Simon, you went to sleep on me. Can't you stick with me for a single hour? Stay alert, be in prayer so you don't fall into danger without even knowing it. Don't be naive. Part of you is eager, ready for anything in God, but another part of you is as lazy as an old dog sleeping by the fire. He then went back and prayed the same prayer, and all the people were sleeping. They couldn't keep their eyes open. They didn't even have a plausible excuse. He came back a third time. Are you going to sleep all night? No, you've slept long enough. Time's up. The Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let's get going. My betrayer has arrived. No sooner were the words out of his mouth when Judas showed up with a gang of ruffians sent by the high priest and other rulers, wielding swords and weapons. The betrayer had worked out a signal with them. One I chest, that's the one. Seize him. Make sure he doesn't get away. He went straight to Jesus. Rabbi! And kissed him. The others then grabbed him and roughed him up. One of the men there unsheathed his sword and lopped off one of the servant's ears. What is this, coming after me with swords and clubs as if I were a dangerous criminal? Day after day I've been sitting in the temple teaching and you never so much as lifted a hand against me. What you have in fact done is to confirm the prophetic writings. All of the disciples cut and ran. A young man was following along. All he had on was a bed sheet. Some of the men grabbed him, but he got away and he ran away naked, leaving them there holding the bed sheet. They led Jesus to the chief priest, where the high priests, religious leaders and scholars were gathered together. The high priests conspiring with the Jewish council, looked high and low for evidence against Jesus, by which they could sentence him to death. They found nothing. Plenty of people were willing to bring false charges, but nothing added up. They ended up canceling out each other. Then a few of the people stood up and lied. We heard him say, I'm going to tear down this temple and in three days rebuild another. But even they couldn't agree exactly. In the middle of this, the chief priest stood up. Well, my good fellow, what do you have to say to the accusation? Jesus was silent. He said nothing. The chief priest tried again, asking, Are you the Messiah, son of the blessed? Yes, I am. And you'll see it yourself. The Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Mighty One, arriving on the clouds of heaven. The chief priest lost his temper, ripping his clothes he yelled. Did you hear that? After that, do we need witnesses? You heard the blasphemy. Are you going to stand for it? 
they condemned him, one and all. The sentence? Death. Some of them started spitting at him. They blindfolded his eyes. They hit him. Who hit you? Prophesy! <laughs> The guards, punching and slapping, took him away. While all this was going on, Peter was down in the courtyard. The chief servant saw Peter and looked at him. You are the teacher. I don't know what you're talking about. He went out on the porch. A rooster crowed. The girl spotted him and began telling the people all around. He's one of them. He denied it again. After a short time, the bystanders asked about it again. You've got to be one of them. Now Peter got really nervous and swore. i never seen this guy before in my life. Just then, a rooster crowed a second time. Peter remembered. Before a rooster crows twice, You'll deny me three times. Peter collapsed in tears. At dawn, the high priest and other religious rulers arranged a conference with the entire Jewish council. After tying Jesus up, they brought him to meet Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? If you say so. The high priests began a barrage of accusations. Aren't you going to answer anything? That's quite a list of accusations. Pilate was impressed, very impressed. It was a custom at the dinner to release a prisoner. One of the prisoners was Barabbas, who had committed murder. As the crowd came up and began to present its petition for him to release a prisoner, Pilate anticipated them. Do you want me to release the King of the Jews to you? Pilate knew by this time that it was through sheer spite that the high priests had turned Jesus over to him. But the high priest by then had worked up the crowd to ask for the release of Barabbas. So what do I do with this man you call King of the Jews? Nail no, him to a cross. But for what crime? Nail, Nail him, him to, a to a cross. Pilate gave the crowd what it wanted set Barabbas free and turn Jesus over for the whipping and the crucifixion. The soldiers took Jesus into the palace called the Praetorium. They adjusted him in purple and put a wreath made of thorns upon his head. And then they began their mockery. Bravo, this has to be the king of the Jews. They banged on his head with a club and spit on him and melt, knelt in mock worship in front of him. When they finished their fun, they took off the purple robe and put back on his own clothes. And they marched out and nailed him to the cross. There was a man coming home from work called Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. They made him carry Jesus' cross. They nailed him to a cross and divided up his clothes and threw dice to decide who would get them. They nailed him up at nine o'clock in the morning his charge against him, King of the Jews, was written above his head. They crucified two people beside him, one to the left and one to the right. People passing along the road, shaking their heads in mock sadness. You brag that you could tear down the temple and rebuild it in three days, so show us your stuff. Save yourself. If you're really God's son, come down from that cross. The religious leaders were having fun poking fun at him. He saved others, but he can't save himself? M Messiah, is he? King of Israel? Then let him climb down from that cross. 
we'll all become believers then. Even the men crucified alongside him were mocking him. At noon, the sky became dark. It lasted three hours, then Jesus groaned. My God, my God, why? Why have you abandoned me? Listen, he's calling for Elijah. Someone ran off, soaked a sponge in sour wine, put it on a stick, and then gave it to him to drink. Let's, Let's see if see Elijah, if Elijah comes, to, comes take him to, down. to take him down. But Jesus, with a loud cry, gave up his breath. And the, the temple curtain ripped down the, right down the middle. And when the soldiers standing guard saw that Jesus had stopped breathing, he declared, This has to be the Son of God. <laughs> 